Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and of course into the DXY. So we're gonna start in the four hour time frame. Congratulations to everyone that yesterday took this long trade here. I got already stopped out. I'm out of my trade and currently I'm looking again to open up new positions but we have some warning sign right now that we could maybe enter into a possible correction. So here the four hour time frame is looking still bullish. We should bounce here from the nine moving average and uh, so far we had no close below this important MA. The only problem is that in my own indicator we are getting a sell signal right now. So that means that we could see the momentum now shifting back into bearish and that of course could lead into a drop towards our previous resistance which now could be acting as a new support right here at around $44,000. And this is why I'm still not in a new position right now. I got stopped out with these wicks that we have seen uh, yesterday and uh, that's why I was telling you my friends make sure to lock in profits as soon as we're gonna see here this push to the upside because we still have some warning signs especially in the daily time frame. So even though the 4 hour is still looking bullish, we are still trading above the 9 and 20 moving average and we should expect continuation to the upside. There are some warning signs, so if you're still in a long position, make sure to put your stop loss in profits. Because also in the 3 hour time frame, we already have a confirmed sell signal. If you're trading with my indicator over on uh, Discord, you can see that we got here a confirmed sell signal in the 3 hour time frame, but we have right now a 1 hour buy signal. So that means that maybe here in the next coming hours, we first are coming into a possible push again towards the main resistance up here at around $49,300. So this pattern that we are creating here could be a bull flag, another little bull flag that will take us if we're gonna break out here to the upside potentially to our target way above 50k but so far I'm still a bit concerned here that we are not able to push higher here than $49,000 at the time of recording. If we're gonna see a breakout here to the upside and also consolidation above 50k I'm pretty confident that we will reach our target of around $60,000. So let's see what will happen here in the next coming hours. I'm just telling you my friends right now that the 4 hour time frame is again looking a bit more bearish. As long as we're closing 4 hour candles above these two important moving averages we should be safe and we should expect here a big bounce to the upside. But if here we're gonna see a 4 hour close below this important moving average then be prepared that we could drop again towards here this 44,000 maybe even down towards the 200 moving average here at $36,500. This is still in the cards my friends. So be careful if you're sitting in a high leveraged long position right now. Make sure to lock in profits and always use stop losses. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands you can see that here was the problem that we were not able to close four hour candles above the top of the Bollinger Band. So as you can see here we always got rejected and as long as we are not able to close four hour candles above the Bollinger Bands we are still squeezing here between this channel of $49,000 and $44,400. So we have to see four hour closes above the Bollinger Bands in order to have another big parabolic move like we have seen here with the last pump that we also traded. And only when Bitcoin is able to close 4 hour candles above the Bollinger Bands then we always see explosive moves to the upside and we didn't see that yet even though yesterday we had a nice pump but we didn't have this explosive move that could have taken us above 50k. So here in the Bollinger Bands we still have to wait for a 4 hour close above $49,000. This would indicate that we will see continuation towards our bullish target of around 60000 And now we can go over into the daily time frame because also here I want to tell you my friends that this is looking a bit bearish in my opinion. We are still a bit overbought and also in my own indicator we could get very soon a sell signal. It's not yet confirmed, it's not yet flashing but if here we are getting a sell signal be prepared that the price could come back down here to retest the 9 daily moving average at $43,000. In the worst case 
even come down to test the 20 daily moving average at $37,800. Of course, the more we are staying above here and consolidate above the nine daily moving average, the less the drop will be if we're gonna get here a sell signal because as long as we're trading up here, these moving averages also rise up day by day. So that's why it is good that we are starting to consolidate here or trade sideways. So the drop, if we're gonna get here a sell signal, wouldn't be that violent. So let's wait and see here what will happen in the next coming days. I think during the weekend, we may be gonna see some more attempts to break 50k because usually on weekends we always have some bullish action since we have play time and on weekends we don't have much traders so that means that the liquidity is way lower than during working days and that's why I think maybe during the weekend we're gonna see some more attempts here to break 50,000 maybe even go higher. So even though we could see continuation to the upside and also break here potentially this 50k resistance that we have for now, be very careful if you're trading right now with leverage, my friends. I'm probably gonna stay a bit on the sideline here in these next coming hours and days because I think we have currently a little bit of warning signs here, even though of course uh, everything is still looking like that we could reach our target of approximately $60,000. But I just want to warn you that there are some bearish signs right now coming up. And in order to see continuation towards 60K, I first want to see a four hour close above 49,000. So that would indicate that we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside from this potential bull flag and then continue towards higher levels. And another reason why we could potentially top out here and maybe start a bigger correction at least down here towards the 40k area is because the DXY currently is having a bounce right at the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame. And this is also what I told you yesterday, my friends, that if here we're gonna see a short lift bounce to the upside, we may be gonna correct a little bit here in the Bitcoin price before we gear up again for another big explosive move to the upside. And this is what we're seeing right now, the DXY bounced and it looks like that we could see here also follow through everything looks like that we could see here continuation at least towards the $91 level and there we're gonna see if the DXY is strong enough to push higher or not because this $91 area where right now the 50 moving average is lining up in the four hour is exactly at our important price level of resistance and support. So let's see what the DXY is doing in the next coming hours. The four hour looks quite bullish here. We should see here continuation to the upside and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently we're fighting with the 20 daily moving average so if you are able to close a daily candle above the 20 daily then i'm expecting here to go straight towards the 9 daily moving average here at 91 dollars and this is where i'm expecting rejection so even though the dxy could see a bounce to the upside i don't think that it's gonna be very sustainable and we're gonna go to take out these highs that we had here at 91.50 so most likely here we're gonna get rejected but this is of course what we're gonna have to see here in the next coming days potentially next week so the DXY is having right now this bounce and that's why we maybe could see here in the next coming hours or days also a little correction here in the Bitcoin price. But as soon as the DXY is getting rejected and continue to fall, then of course uh, we are expecting big pumps here in the Bitcoin price. And now we can go also over into the Ethereum chart because Ethereum is struggling here to pump towards 2K. We are still testing here this previous resistance that now should be acting as a new support here at 1760. We also got here a sell signal in the four hour. That could mean that maybe we're gonna come down again to retest the main support at around $1,630. But if Bitcoin is able to push higher now towards 50 and 60,000, then I'm expecting also Ethereum to have here follow through at least to retest here the main resistance at around 2000 at the time of recording. Only if Ethereum is able to break this resistance up here from this green trend line up here, then I'm expecting Ethereum to go way above $2,000 because $2,000 right now is just the resistance that we could have here in case that we're gonna have a big pump to the upside. But if 2000 is getting broken, then maybe we're gonna see huge fireworks to the upside. Same like Bitcoin had once it broke 20K. 
So here in the Ethereum chart, we have again a very similar condition like in the Bitcoin price. Short term, we may be going to see a pullback, but overall in the bigger time frames, we are still looking very bullish and we should expect also here big continuations to the upside, especially if Bitcoin is reaching 60 Okay, and in case that here we're gonna get rejected or we're gonna see a big sell-off, then watch out first for here for this previous resistance, which now is a very important support at around $1,400. And if this one is gonna fail, then watch out for the 200 daily moving average right at $650. This is also our previous strong resistance, which now should be acting as a very strong support. So this would be the worst case scenario now for Ethereum, if here we're gonna see a big sell-off, but nothing is looking like that we're gonna see such a big sell-off for now so everything is still pointing out that we're gonna have continuation to the upside as long as we're closing daily candles at least above here the nine daily moving average right now at one thousand seven hundred dollar so you see my friends currently we have both a bit bearish and bullish signs that's why i am standing a bit on the sideline with opening up new trades but of course as soon as here we are cooling off again in the three hour or four hour time frame i will potentially re-enter with a long position as soon as we are getting again a new good buy signal and remember if you want to trade also bitcoin and ethereum with leverage you can do this over on bybit and femex if you still need an account then use my referral links down below here in the video description because with my links you support the channel and also you will get some extra money some extra bonus that you can use for trading and if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage but you want to take as much gains as possible when we go up and down then try out prime xpt because here we have a special co-vesting feature where you can easily just copy trade other traders you can sign up with my link down below here no kyc nothing top up some bitcoin and then just click here on follow on the traders that you would like to follow and like this you can also gain some passive money if you catch the right traders of course so if you like the content my friends hit that like button subscribe also to the channel and a big shout out to our discord trading chat if you want to join our free discord trading chat then make sure to use the official invitation link down below here in the video description with this link you can get access to the trading chat once you're joining the chat make sure to go here to read first and click on thumbs up to confirm that you are a human and not a bot and like this you get free access to our chat and if you would like to have access access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin for a small donation then contact me on discord with a private message like this i can set up the access for you so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye